The thing that really gives me pause right now is mainly this dangerous faction issue that we're facing. I don't fully know how to take care of it. Could send him away to potentially be taken. Are we still trying to kill someone? Yes, our brother. So we'll send him to go so descent over there. It doesn't really matter for us. I mean, we could have sent him here, maybe. Let's risk everyone that is someone. Okay, he is declaring war on us with a weird 300 troops because he's currently being besieged. So he doesn't even get the troops that he thinks he's going to get. So that's a bit odd. That doesn't work for us. Temple elephants are all sick. Oh no. We will wish to care for the temple elephants. That's deeply unfortunate. And we set everyone into every position. No matter how sensible or not. Including ourselves because we are silly filly. And we will immediately go on the offensive. Now there's still another dangerous faction. But they're not going to be as dangerous as they could have been. Should make him our commander rather. The Chancellor, he has a Chancellor <laughs> to get lost. Let's give him a Chancellor to get lost. We shouldn't be leading. Let's give him a few more men on the side there. That has, that has to be the worst possible moment for him to declare his little revolt there. Are we no longer infected? Good stuff. Right on the battlefield, we feel better. And... You wish us to join your war. Which is going fine anyway. So sure. We shall join you and be annoyed by the fact that joining him lost us this. Deeply annoyed by the fact that joining him lost us this. Ha. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. And where are you going, you fool? Please let me attach first before you run away. Where are you going? Yeah. How 
How did he raise 700 troops from us? We don't even have 700 troops. How do you raise more than we have? How do you do that? No way, stop. You're not my liege yet. Okay. Right, and why do you change direction? Honestly, I'm just going to stand these down instead of trying to chase down this army there. What a fool's errand. Let us hope these people go away. Barracks were built, we don't have really money for anything else. Next thing should be stables. Ah oh yeah, what should we be? A siege master? Definitely go for siege leader. If that option exists, always go for Siege Leader. Now we lead ourselves. How is he losing this? Lost battles and doesn't hold control over what he controls, would, would or like. Need to get rid of that mercenary company. Dissolved, goodbye. Affects us negatively. In any conceivable way. Can you please take care of this uh, little issue here? My liege. Are we leading something? Yes, we're leading the center. Bravely. Maybe we get jungle warfare. That would be really good, but it's rare. Um, you don't see it very often. She'll she'll be the loyal. Our lovely little daughter. Who will have her matrilineally? Let's see what we got. We can invite someone good that way. Good ish at least. Let's go with this guy, he's not too bad. Where is he? A little far. That's okay, with religions being uh, spread as they are. By the way, I did find in the game settings an option where you can even toggle that uh, people from a different religion do consider marriage proposals, which I think is actually an option you would want. Come on, join us, boy. Make it a good hundred. Let's have a chance at this. My niece. That thing.
Sadly, we're not leading the sieges, so we're also not winning the sieges, and we don't really have enough men to decouple from this and, and hope for the best. Could have a few more, but only a few. But this softens up our brother, who will we, who we will have to fight at some point. He still hasn't have an heir, so if we get him dead before his wife gets pregnant. We are sadly not the siege leader, otherwise this would go a little bit quicker. Sadly, everyone is immediately treated in our court. Ah, but he was treated badly. Good stuff. And we're not going to hold the feast. I wonder what he's doing. Nothing sensible. Should just attack him. Aw, little granddaughter. Be this. These AI battles can take forever and ever and ever. It is just the way of things. Or should we go for more heavy cavalry still? Speaking from a technological standpoint, that would be preferable. Because we have upgraded that already. We don't even have any archers. Might want some due to the skirmish phase being somewhat important. Sadly, not the right person died. Go recruit. Breathe our levies. Gives us a decent boost. The levy increasing activity. So this will be just kind of sieging against sieging against sieging. Sometimes the AI is really ruthless, ruthlessly efficient, but sometimes it does this little song and dance. Oh, look at that. We can imprison our son. And into the oubliette you go. Good. We have improved. I don't even know. I think he plotted something against us. Could banish him. Could we execute him? Yeah, people are not happy with kin slaying, so we'll just leave him in jail and there he shall die eventually. No question asked. Yeah. 
At least he goes back to what he already sieged before and doesn't start all over with something that is still like a full stronghold. So this should be a little bit quicker. Not by much though. Let's build a great work because we totally have the money for it. Look at this. All of these counts and dukes and all that. Interesting stuff. So they're going to re-siege this now. Exciting. Riveting even. Oh no, something happened to a spy master. died of consumption big old shame big old shame so who do we have left this or less we put this guy in you're there we're going to send him to increase our pluck power here. Directly working against our friend there. And all is as it should be. Are you really waiting to siege down 31 people? That's what you're doing. Your life's mission now. And he goes over to where he already sieged before. And this will forever and ever continue. No. No medicine. No research. None of that. So far we don't know what he's going to become. As a diplomacy focus, I think our daughter is also pretty much the most qualified. Teach him. Oh, our sister would be a little bit more qualified to do so. So he's going to sit here now and siege this, and then he's going to walk over here and siege this, and it's just going to go on like that. Thirty-one percent. So he's running away. What are you plotting now? Fabricate a claim on our duchy. It's because he's our spy master, so we have to kick him out of that job. Sorry, buddy. You're not cutting it. Get this man. Yeah. So his plot power goes down significantly because he's no longer our spy master. And this silliness is annoying me. It really is. See? This is how it's going to continue. Eventually one side might decide to attack. But for now this is just how it is. Oh, we can't even do anything about it. A never ending struggle.
And then he goes here, and then he goes there. This is torture. Ah, there are more troops coming, so that's good. We should just imprison him. He doesn't have any troops. He's fleeing and arming and all that, but at least we kick him out of his position of potential power. So we'll decouple. Set down and re-raise our troops to have some more. Down. And up. And we'll just assemble down here. Move all these over there, that direction. He'll be fine without us doing his silly song and dance. And we just try and stay outside of his sight. So he can do this stupid stuff for however long he wants. I've actually never seen that, but you know. Go away, you don't get to spend my money hand over fist. Back. We're not going to call him. Let's see that everyone is in the right place. Center lead, elite center. Yeah, that looks all good. Now putting him as a commander doesn't really help. Where is he? Yeah, well, we'll leave him in there. Wait, I'm a siege leader. Let me lead the siege. Yeah. No. Our cat has left to visit one of our distant aunts. She has a nice house in the country and the cat will be very happy there. Playing with a bunch of other cats in the wilderness. <laughs> Heartache. Heartbreak. He can't really do anything. Kinda stuck now. Once we have sieged this, we'll have one. You're still hoping for this man being imprisoned. How would you look at that? That was a quick one. Done on our troops. And into the Oblietti goes. So my son and he can be friends in our prison. Because we have 
Eva. I don't need her. They're all his anyway. Can ransom himself. Ara uh, should have gone for Tadea first. But I'm sure he'll ransom all the kids. We don't actually have to contribute anything here. But he is getting support from Fishman. Together they pull the threat. We can't really contribute enough. I'll turn this off for now because I don't want to hold feasts. If we contribute troops or not, it doesn't matter because it's just doing this silly song and dance. Maybe he reconsiders now that there's a second army in play. And then we could go reinforce him a little bit. Now we can upgrade our keep, which we will most certainly do. It's very attractive. More heavy infantry, more pike. But I feel we also should have a little bit for the skirmish phase. We don't have anything. Or light cavalry. That's also very attractive. Cavalry is very strong. Let's go with the horses. We'll give them food this time, we need the money. Right, and apparently the answer to the question what would have been is silly siege dances performed by a lackluster AI, not knowing what the hell they're doing. That is what would have been. <laughs> 